In this tutorial we're going to take a look at how do I add areas after I've selected them with my marquee tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a rectangle square around my butterfly. Let's say I also wanted to select both of these sunflowers as well. If I hold down the shift key, the shift key you can see right by my mouse or my cursor on the screen. When I click the shift I get this little plus sign that shows up. So if I hold down the shift key and I click and drag, you can see that I add a second marquee to my area. If I wanted to hold down the shift key again, click and drag, I can add that area. I can also switch uh, different shapes while I'm in the middle of my marquee tool. And let's say I wanted to create this squared marquee, but I wanted to take out the butterfly in the middle. If I hold down the control key, you see that I get a little minus sign that shows up next to my cursor on the screen. So if I hold down the control key and click and drag, I now have the circle inside of my marching ants. But now what I should have is this area is selected, this area is selected, this area is selected, but I've actually taken away this area in the middle because I held down the control key. So just to show you what is created here is I've actually added multiple marquee areas and I've taken away marquee areas. So using the shift to add and the control to take away, I can create multiple marquee areas inside of the same selection. This can help you to add multiple areas that give you a, a custom shape.